make dye. So we wanted to study the effect of the very charge on the molecular aggregation of organic dyes. You can do by two approaches. Collect the samples of different origins, synthetic ones, natural ones, and to see what's the layer charge effect. But in this case, there are other parameters which could affect the spectral behavior of dyes. So we chose with different approach. We use just one parent sample. This is monomorilonide. And then with some tricky technique by lithium fixation, we can prepare the samples with different layer charge but keeping all other parameters the same, okay? So, I show just five samples where we reduce cation exchange capacity from 100% to 77%. We can reduce even more to something like 15%, but then we would get materials which do not swell completely. Non-swelling phase would appear. So, but we wanted to have the same properties like uh, the same swelling properties, the same particle size and so on. So we just prepared these five samples and studied the molecular aggregation of methylene blue. And you see very strong effect. The sample with the highest charge, it contained only mostly H aggregates. As the layer charge decreased, okay, more monomers and J aggregates appeared. And I would just uh, strengthen that there, are, there was just very small extent of the charge reduction, just several tenths of percent, and the effect was very strong. And the interpretation, just very simplified model, could be in such way that if you have very high charge density, then the distance between neighboring charge sites would be quite small, and if you have cations which set, separate the charge, then also there would be the distance between these cations would be quite short at the surface of high charge density and it would promote densely packed sandwich type aggregates, H aggregates. If you make layer charge less dense, then the distances would be more apart and it would somehow suppress and isolate uh, dications and you would get J aggregates where the overlap between cations is smaller or monomers. This is just simplified approach, but it can help you to understand what's the effect of the layer charge. And it explains why spectites of similar structure and type can sometimes induce